Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I share the best Samsung Galaxy tips, tricks, and hidden features to help you get the most out of your device. Today, we're going to explore something super useful, six different ways to open apps in pop-up view on your Samsung Galaxy phone or tablet. So this feature lets you run apps in small floating window while still using other apps in the background. So it's perfect for multitasking, replying to messages while watching video, or keeping notes open while browsing. So I'm using the S25 Ultra in this tutorial, but don't worry, you can try all of these methods on other Galaxy devices as well. So whether it's the S series, Note series, the Z Fold, or even the Galaxy Tab. So let's get started. So the first way to open apps in pop-up view is by dragging the app from the edge panel. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, you can go ahead and swipe in from the side of the screen to open the edge panel. And then from here, you can go ahead and grab any apps and drag it to the middle of the screen and this will instantly open it in pop-up view. So here is an example, we'll go ahead and open our edge panel. We'll go ahead and choose an app. So let's just say for example, the calculator app. I'll go ahead and drag it to the center. And as you can see, calculator app has now opened up. Now I can go ahead and place this anywhere I like. I can do my calculator and I can go ahead and use other apps in the background. So this is one of the fastest way if you set up your most used apps in the edge panel. So it's always just one swipe away. So it's perfect for multitaskers who like quick access. The second way is where you can long press apps from the task manager. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, you can go ahead and open apps in pop-up view using the task manager or also known as a recent apps view. So you can go ahead and find the apps you want to open it and you can go ahead and press and hold and you can go ahead and open that in pop-up view. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and press this task manager or the recent view apps. Next, we'll go ahead and find an app which you want to open in, in pop view. So let's just say Amazon shopping. We'll go ahead and long press on it. This will now ask you where you want to drop that pop up view. So we'll go ahead and drop it here. And now you'll see that it's opened up in pop up view. You can go ahead and move it anywhere you like. You can go ahead and resize it as well. So this way you can go ahead and do something else while you also browse your Amazon shopping here. So this is great when you're switching between multiple apps and suddenly decide you want one of them running in the pop-up view mode. The third way is where you can open apps directly from the task manager. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, instead of long pressing on any apps, you can simply tap on the app icon in the recent app menu and then choose pop-up view. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and open up the task manager or the recent view apps. We'll go ahead and choose an app we want to open in pop-up view. So let's just say this good luck app. We'll go ahead and tap on good luck itself. Then we'll go ahead and choose open in pop-up view. Tap on it. This will now open that app in pop-up view. So if you're already managing your open apps, this is a clean and no hassle way to instantly switch one into a floating window. The fourth way is where you can swipe down from the top of the app. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, you can open up any app in pop-up view by placing your finger at the very top left or right and then go ahead and swipe diagonally and then that app will basically shrink into a pop-up view automatically so here is an example we'll go ahead and open up google and if i want to go ahead and open this in pop-up view i'll go ahead and swipe from the right here and this will basically open that in pop-up view we'll try another app so as you can see it works on the top right and the top left so let me show you how to turn this feature on on your Samsung S25 Ultra and let me show you how to do it as well. So here we'll go ahead and close this for now. So to enable this feature, you want to go ahead and open up settings. Scroll down until you see advanced features. From here, tap multi-window. Go ahead and find this option, swipe for pop-up view. Make sure you turn this feature on. And here this basically gives you a demonstration of how to use it. So it works on the top right and the top left and you can go ahead and choose your corners. So you can go ahead and customize this, make it smaller or make it large. I would go ahead and make it large so that it's more accessible. Now, once that's done, go ahead and tap home. Now go ahead and open up any app. Now go ahead and try it out. So this is super convenient gesture, no menus, no extra steps, just a quick swipe from your corners and you're multitasking like a pro. The fifth way is where you can swipe down from the brief notification. 
So on your Samsung S24 Ultra, when you receive a brief notification here at the top, like a message preview or WhatsApp messages, you can simply go ahead and hold that notification, swipe it down, and instead of opening in full screen, the app will basically open in pop-up view. So here I'll go ahead and demonstrate how to do this. So here I'll go ahead and send a message from my other phone. So as you can see, I've received a hi, so I can go ahead and hold that message and swipe it down. And this basically opens it up in pop-up view. So let's just go ahead and demonstrate it again one more time. So this is perfect for quick replies. You don't have to leave what you're doing. So whether you're gaming, you're watching a video or browsing, you can basically go to your notification right away and open it in pop-up view. And lastly, the sixth way is to open pop-up using voice. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, you can activate Bixby or Google Assistant and say something like open the particular app in pop-up view. So this app will launch as a floating window without you touching the screen. So let me show you as an example here. Hey Bixby, open eBay in pop-up view. So as you can see, that has opened that in pop-up view. Let me just try another app. Bixby, open the clock app in pop-up view. Bixby, open the message app on pop-up view. So this is best for hands-free control. Super helpful if you're cooking, working out, or your hands are just busy. And that's it, six different ways to open apps in pop-up view on your Samsung Galaxy device. As you can see, Samsung gives a lot of flexibility to multitasking. So whether you prefer swiping, dragging, using notification, or even just your voice. Personally, I love the diagonal swipe gesture and the notification method. They feel the fastest and most natural, but you might find the edge panel or voice commands more useful depending on your style. Remember, I showed this on my Galaxy S25 Ultra, but all these methods also work on the Samsung Galaxy devices. So from S series, Note series, to the Z Fold, Z Flip, and even the Galaxy Tab. So test them out and see which one works best for you and make your multitasking experience even more smoother. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below which method you'll use to open your apps in pop-up view. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.